Welcome to Electra Online, and here we're going to talk about the general rules of solubility. There's seven of them, so let's go through each one. It'll help us understand which of the elements will be soluble and which ones are not. So the first one, alkali metals hydroxides are soluble, like lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium, rubidium, and cesium hydroxide are all soluble. So think of the, think of the alkali metals mixed with hydroxide, they're soluble. The alkaline earth metals, there's only one of those, the barium hydroxide is soluble, and cal calcium hydroxide is just slightly soluble. So when we get into the alkaline earth metals, only one of the uh, alkaline earth metals is soluble when it's mixed or when compounded with hydroxide. All right, the next one, most compounds with the halogens, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, are soluble. So when we go over to the halogens, if there's a compound with any one of these three, chances are those are soluble. Okay, next, most sulfates are soluble, like uh, H2SO4, sulfuric acid, uh, sodium sulfate and potassium sulfate, they tend to be soluble. Calcium sulfate and silver sulfate are slightly soluble. When it gets to barium, lead, and mercury sulfate, they are not soluble. So there's a difference here. You have to understand when they're soluble and when they're not. All right, on the compounds containing uh, the nitrate ion, the chlorate ion, and the perchlorate ion, they're all soluble. So here's some examples. Silver nitrate, sodium nitrate, that's soluble. Potassium chlorate and sodium chlorate is uh, soluble. And potassium perchlorate and beryllium perchlorate is also soluble. So anything mixed with the nitrate, the chlorate, and the perchlorate ion, they tend to be soluble. Okay, all the carbonates, all the phosphates, and all the sulfites, and all the sulfites, they're insoluble. I always think that whenever sulfide, uh, sulfur is involved, it's probably not very soluble. But here we see all the carbonates, all the phosphates, the sulfides, and the sulfites, they're all insoluble, except if they're mixed with a ammonium ion and with the alkali metals, then they do become soluble. So there are some exceptions, so you have to look out for those. Anytime you're dealing with alkali, met alkali metals, they, are, they tend to be fairly soluble. All right, next rule, all ammonium compounds are soluble. So whenever something is mixed with, with the ammonium ion, it tends to be soluble. And finally, as I said before, all alkali metal compounds, they're soluble. So anytime something is mixed with any of the alkali metals, they tend to be very soluble. So those are some general rules. If you can memorize those, it goes a long ways in your ability to figure out when things are soluble and when things are not. And that really ha helps in determining uh, how the equations will react. And we'll see an example of that in a later video. So this is simply just a review of some of the basic rules on solubility. And again, I recommend that you spend a little time memorizing this table. So go for it and good luck.